When you look at the challenges of getting video solution deployed in the enterprise, the major hurdle that we find is how do you distribute that video? How do you get that content out to every employee in a way that is efficient? And the primary problem with that is corporate networks. The way they're designed isn't necessarily for video distribution. They're built for lightweight, bursty type traffic, the type of traffic that you see from email applications or web-based um, applications. Video introduces a problem where you need to get large amounts of data across that network right now to everybody, and that is the fundamental problem in distribution. Yeah, the way companies typically try to solve the video distribution problem is going down the hardware path. Um, choosing a solution like Cisco's ACNS, for example. And although at first blush it seems like a good approach, in practice it becomes a practical impossibility to deploy. So let's talk about the approaches that companies take to distribute video. Well, the, the, the first approach, the simplest approach, is of course set up, stand up some central streaming servers and stream a copy of the video to every end user in every office that requests it. Well, the problem with that, of course, is that what you typically see in corporate networks is the wide area network that um, connects each office is constrained. It's, um, it's bandwidth constrained. So what Cisco does is they come in and deploy a, a physical appliance, a hardware appliance, in every remote office. So they literally send out a tech and install and configure and test a hardware, a dedicated hardware appliance that basically is responsible for getting one copy of the stream down to each office, and then it's also responsible for streaming out that video to all the end users in that local office. And while that seems to make a lot of sense in this type of example, when you get into a real corporate environment where you're not just dealing with three offices, but you're dealing with hundreds, if not thousands of offices, that's where the problem falls apart. So you can imagine going down the road of deploying a hardware solution, not only you have to put these hardware appliances in all the, the major campuses, but you actually have to go out and deploy and configure and test these hardware appliances in every single office that you want to stream that video in. And so what does that end up with? Well, first of all, the time it takes to deploy a solution like that is going to be months, if not years. On top of that, think about the cost. We're talking about tens of millions of dollars in hardware and man hours to get a system like this up and running. And on top of that, it simply just doesn't scale with your business. You acquire a new company or you expand to more regions or new offices, you're repeating this entire cycle all over again. So you look at the way that this problem solved with hardware, the cost, the time to deploy, the, the limitations that you, you, you impose on yourself, and you've got to ask yourself, there's got to be a better way. Well, with the Contiki approach, we took a look at what Cisco does. And, and if you kind of take a look at it here, the, the, the beauty of their approach is that they offload the problem from the wide area network and shift the bandwidth use, utilization to the local area network. So that makes a lot of sense, but you still have to have these caches deployed and maintained all over the place. Well, the Contiki basically builds on these principles, but instead of requiring you to put hardware caches all over your network, we basically rely on a small application that is deployed on the different desktops um, in your network. And what our technique does is it uses a, a peer assisted delivery technique that basically builds a secure private peer-to-peer -peer network to deliver the content around the network. Get the exact same efficiencies as the Cisco solution in that only one copy of the video will get streamed to each local office as an end user requests it. But as others in that same office start to request that video, that copy, that video will get streamed to them from other available clients or applications that have that video or are in the process of streaming that video. So what does that mean overall? Well, again, if you step back and take a look at your, your network, a deployment with a software-only solution like in Tiki's can literally be done in a matter of weeks rather than months or years. Um, you, of course, avoid the cost of a hardware-based deployment where you're sending out technicians to every one of these locations. It's a matter of putting our application on your standard load set, on your standard desktop image, and pushing it out. Um, you get a system that inherently scales with your business. As new offices come online, as new employees join the company, 
your network, your, your video solution self-scales. It actually gets better and performs better with more users using the system because you have more available sources to serve up that content.